First at six, Slate Ridge owner Daniel Banyai will remain in jail for the time being after a judge set a $15,000 bail this afternoon. Banyai is pleading not guilty to charges including assaulting a law enforcement officer. Court documents show he was arrested yesterday after getting into a fight with the Paulet Town Constable. ABC 22's Matt Holderman is live now in the newsroom to break all of this down and just what comes next. Yeah, Lauren, well, Banyai appeared in Rutland County Superior Court today via WebEx for his arraignment and the battle wounds on his face from that fight with the constable were clear to see. Now, according to an affidavit, Banyai threw punches at Constable Tom Cavino and was pepper sprayed during the fight. This all started when Cavino pulled over a truck for speeding in Paulette and saw Banyai was in the passenger seat. He reminded Banyai of the law and standing warrant for his arrest due to the illegal Slate Ridge gun range and told Banyai to exit the vehicle, but he says Banyai refused, calling him a dirty cop. Then Cavino says almost simultaneously he pepper sprayed Banyai and Banyai punched him in the face. Cavino managed to get the door open and pull Banyai out, and the two continued to wrestle on the ground, and Cavino managed to get him in handcuffs. As you mentioned, Lauren, Banyai pleaded not guilty in court today. Those were two charges of resisting arrest, aggravated assault, and assaulting an officer. His attorney asked if he could be released and kept under curfew, but the judge said he couldn't trust Banyai to follow those conditions. The defendant resisted being taken into custody and ended up, according to the allegation, assaulting the law enforcement officer, which is clear evidence of a flight to avoid. So the court does find that a bail is reasonably necessary to prevent flight to avoid prosecution, in particular considering the nature and circumstances of the allegations here. And as you can see in these photos of Constable Tom Cavino that were featured in the affidavit, he says he suffered bruises on the side of his head where Banyai hit him and also had bruising on his hands. He and Banyai were both evaluated and treated for their injuries after the scuffle. Now, as for the charges Banyai faces stemming from this fight, his next court appearance is scheduled for Monday, June 3rd. That will be a status conference. But now that he is in police custody, it is possible he could also face a judge in relation to the Slate Ridge controversy, uh, controversy, excuse me. That, of course, is something that he's been running from for months on end. Live in the newsroom, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News.